Hello, this is PJ Ewing, host of the Bees Knees podcast. I'm glad to be with you again this week. I have a very cool guest today. His name is Jack Butler. He is the founder of a company called Pulsed Harmonics. I'm going to tell you a little bit before we get into the interview, just so you're sort of ready for it. I'm going to define a couple terms, tell you a little bit about Jack, and then we'll get into my conversation with Jack. It's fascinating. I want you to think about this as potentially something to put on the list, along with PRP, along with stem cells, along with hyaluronic acid, synvisc. There is something here in this conversation that could play a role in you putting off or avoiding a knee surgery or a knee replacement specifically. So with that in mind, let me just tell you about the technology we're going to dive into today. It's called PEMF. PEMF stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy, and it is a safe, painless drug and injection-free treatment that uses a device to emit electromagnetic waves to restore cells' healthy state. It's proven effective for treating depression, improving circulation, reducing pain, increasing energy, and of equal importance, PEMF therapy has never been associated with any negative side effects and is approved by the FDA as a registered wellness device. Okay, that's what we're going to be talking about today. But now let's talk about Jack and the, my guest in his very interesting history. Jack Butler, founder and CEO of Pulsed Harmonics. And this is a quote from Jack to start out this little blurb, let's call it. In quote, I founded Pulsed Harmonics, PHX, to help people and myself with serious pain, mobility, and health problems that were not responding to traditional treatments. Over 100 doctors are now using True Pulse A2000, this device, to recharge the vital functions of the body and detoxify it at the same time. The effects have been awesome. I'm taking no drugs and have no diseases. The functions of my vital systems are now equivalent to someone half my age. The A2000 addresses what many believe are the two most important health problems we are facing, the rapidly increasing pollution of our air, food, and water with toxic chemicals, drugs, and industrial waste, and the rapidly declining electromagnetic charge of our planet and our bodies. The founder of many successful enterprises, including the Municipal Bond Insurance Association, the MBIA Invitational, an annual golf tournament in support of the Special Olympics, and ARC, the financing of a peer-reviewed and published cancer vaccine, Jack now devotes his full attention to the development of safe, effective, and affordable PEMF healing technology as CEO of Pulsed Harmonics. There are two more things I want to read to you, and then we'll get into the interview. First, for orthopedic surgeon use of the device, for an injury that does not require surgery, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy can be a great way to promote healing and reduce recovery time. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And the second part is actually really right on target for us, right? Surgery recovery. There can be many weeks to months of rehabilitation required with some orthopedic-related procedures. Pairing PEMF with recovery can improve pain levels, inflammation, and healing time. Okay, so a couple notes on the website, uh, which is actually called pulsedharmonics.com, that are related to new injuries, and I'm thinking about knees, of course, and then surgery recovery. Let's say that you did injure your knee or have a total knee replacement. This could be a potential companion. Obviously, you're going to explore this with your surgeon, with your physical therapist, with your trusted medical professional. But I'm, again, volunteering that this technology that you're about to hear about could be a companion to your, your recovery method, whichever one you're using. Welcome to The Bee's Knees, a podcast full of articles, interviews, clinical studies, and advice about knee surgery, physical therapy, and life after knee surgery. Hello, everyone. This is PJ Ewing, your host, host of The Bee's Knees podcast. We've got a great show today. I've got Jack Butler from Pulsed Harmonics, and we together, Jack, are going to learn from you all about what you've created. We want to know about you, but what you've created. And as we kind of discussed before we started the podcast, I'm going to pretend I don't know anything about it. 
so that you're, it's like you're talking to a prospect, right? Someone who, <laughs> who's interested but is curious and doesn't know about what, what this thing is. Uh, so I'm going to play the role of the, the interested party about your pulse harmonics technology. Uh, does that sound like a plan? All right. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, okay, so let's get right into it. Let's start with you, a little bit about your background. You know, I don't know a lot about you other than what I've read. We had a quick conversation. So tell tell the listeners about y- you and your background. Okay, PJ, <clears throat> it's a little bit unusual. <laughs> I um, started a business uh, in the financial world that turned out to be highly successful, <clears throat> and I hired a lot of people, superstars, and lost a lot of them to cancer. It was absolutely uh, amazing and terrifying thing to see what they went through. And I said, if I ever get enough money to do something about this, I'm going to try. And about 15 years later, I sold the company, and I had a lot of money, and I had read about this wonderful researcher who developed a cancer vaccine. And I went to visit her in her magnificent laboratory at George Washington University Hospital in D.C., Dr. Ariel Holland's head, and she had learned how to produce a live vaccine from harvesting tumors and spinning them out into different uh, antigens which were necessary to create the immune effect. Well, make long story short, it was a highly successful vaccine, 250 in a treatment and control group and a very high level of proof that the vaccine was working. And FDA turned it down. Um, There were no adverse uh, events and it was uh, quite uh, an education, to say the least, that they would turn something down that was proven in a peer review study. Well, anyway, my next chance came when I read about pulsing electromagnetic field studies that NASA, our space agency, published back uh, in the 60s and 70s after concluding, as the Russians did as well, that there is no way that a human being uh, can live in space or can live anywhere outside of the Earth's magnetic field. We were evolved on this planet with it, and all of nature responds to that field. So that was intriguing. Maybe that's the way to go. And I found that the research was um, very far along. They had actually produced devices that replicated the energies of the Earth. Talk about clean, natural source. That's about as good as you can get. And if you can replicate it, pretty good chance that that is going to be the secret to improving our health. And it indeed was. Unfortunately, it couldn't be patented because it is a natural source of energy. You can't patent the air, food, water. Neither can you patent the Earth's own energy. So there wasn't very much interest in uh, big money circles and the drug companies. We decided, I got a team together, looking at what was out there in the way of devices that replicated it, starting kind of late in the game, really. There was a lot of development going on from the 80s through the 90s. We latched on at about 2012, did all the R&D. It's now considered by many doctors and a huge number of their patients and others as the best of the PEMF devices in the marketplace. That's really helpful. And I'm going to say this right now, just so those who are listening along right now can kind of play along with us. The website is pulsedharmonics.com, P-U-L-S-E-D-H-A-R-M-O-N-I-X.com, pulsedharmonics. And I think that 
people who are listening who don't know what PEMF is, for instance, or would like to, you know, kind of see what we're talking about, it's a great opportunity right now to keep listening and then go to the website and see what we're, we're going to talk about. It's very interesting. An opportunity has come to you and it came to you years ago. You sold a company, there was money available, and you had an altruistic goal, which I really, really appreciate. I, I see some similarity with what we've done at our X10 therapy group in trying to help people, trying to improve recoveries, trying to help people along. You landed on PEMF technologies and pulse harmonics. Let's get right into defining what it is and what it's doing. I have a little bit of experience. I've learned a little bit about this technology. But to be honest, even after sitting through presentations, Jack, I'm still not sure exactly what's going on here. <laughs> so I'm hoping you can you can explain what's happening and you know get into some of the the mechanics of what the device that you have does and and what what the benefits are, that kind of thing. Simplistically, it's just replicating the Earth's own magnetic field and pulses. You know, everybody used that for navigation, the compass and so on, but it took tremendous effort and research to determine what could be done with this energy. It turns out that, unsurprisingly, I guess, it is the major source of the human body and all of nature's vitality. You literally can't live without it. And what NASA proved was that it also stimulated the basic building blocks of our bodies, the stem cells, by up to four times. So that recovery of the body from any injury, disease, operations was sped up immensely. And people can go on any search engine and they will see validation of this, that recovery times from sports injuries and accidents are being sped up enormously with this technology. Also, in our device, we designed it to create a significant detoxification effect so that inflammation and things that the body is having a lot of trouble trying to get rid of are sped up dramatically. We have to warn people not to use our device aggressively for the first few times, let the body kind of reset uh, its internal functions and to a harmonic mode, which it does. And as proven by some sophisticated diagnostics, it actually is capable of reversing the biological age function of the body at the same time. But that's also something one can look up. Don't take my word for it. The effects then are dramatic and fast. We believe that we have fortunately landed on the right combination of technology in our device to claim that it is the best and is according to the results we did a Survey monkey, I love that term. <laughs> right. Does that mean they monkey with the data? No, quite the opposite. <laughs> they collect the data from surveys. And they're very popular with um, people that are providing a large number of uh, people with what they believe to be great technology. Well, you'll find out if you use survey monkey to see exactly what they have to say. And... Uh, we have over uh, 740 devices in service in uh, doctor's offices and in homes. And the response was probably the best ever seen. We had 57% respond that their experience with this device was excellent. And another 30% said it was good. Now, it is not the device per se that is causing fabulous results. It's what the device is providing to the body. It's the natural frequencies and energy of the earth that we evolved with on this planet. And that, by the way, is going away. Unfortunately, uh, we're reaching the end of a long-term 
trend where the magnetic pulse of the Earth weakens constantly and is now at only 5%, maybe 10% in some areas of its long-term historical average. And this is having devastating effects on the health status of the general population. In fact, there's a term that's been coined called magnetic deficiency syndrome, which is easily identifying that the magnetic field has fallen to such a low level that our bodies do not have the electromagnetic energy that is required to rebuild them when they're injured or in a diseased state. Our device not only produces that energy and transmits it to our cells and tissues, our brain, our heart, every part of our body, but it can direct that with the proper configuration of the electromagnetic coils to specific areas like the knees, ankles, elbows, hands. We have a lady who has won two world championship triathlon events who used the device and was using it. And when she fell from her bike and broke a hand and a wrist in Colorado Springs in an event, she was able inside of 14 days to re-enter the next triathletic event, and she won it. <laughs> she sent me a picture of herself holding the trophy over her head and with a caption, thanks to the awesome healing power of pulsed harmonics. Wow. We have the live proof, too, but again, it's not our device that's actually accomplishing it. It is what the device is supplying to the body and the body's own uh, chemistry, its own pharmacy, its own capabilities utilizes that as it should have been with full force of the Earth's magnetic pole. Full force isn't there anymore. It's about 5 to 10%. I had no idea. That's really interesting. Um, I'm reading on the site, there's a, a lot that supports what Jack is saying, everyone. The history, starting in the 60s with NASA, various approvals under the accreditations. There's also some research that's shared on the website that supports the implementation and use of the device. And then the surveys that you're mentioning are, are also present there. So that's that's pretty cool. Tell me this, as you're going forward and you're building this device, how did you match the Earth's magnetic power? How, how, how did that actually evolve? Well, that's a great question, PJ. And uh, NASA, the space agency, agency is actually the answer. They did meticulous research for years, and they replicated these frequencies and the effects um, of higher and lower intensities of the pulse, etc. They have a program which is called spin-off, kind of neat term, because that's how you get into outer space. And they form the Space Foundation, which is a wonderful nonprofit to get the technology out into the public. We're members of the Space Foundation, actually. They latched on to our device and said they would like to present us with the logo of, of the Space Foundation. And we're one of the few companies that are allowed to display that now. They've invited us, in fact, to make a special presentation on February 28th at their headquarters in Colorado Springs. It's something that the government actually did very, very well to form this agency and make it the center post in uh, the space uh, uh, technology developments. Our science advisory board as one person in particular is very, very important in all of the physics involved. His name is Claude Swanson. 
He mm-hmm. doesn't work directly with the space agency, but his research and publications and knowledge is published and very, very helpful to understand how we can work with these technologies in the most powerful and beneficial ways. It's great to be tied with that organization. And I can just imagine, as they believe in this so much, that you know this is the kind of thing that will be on those trips to the moon and to Mars and beyond because you know, you're outside of the field of the Earth's magnetic sphere. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be essential. I'm looking at conditions, and so I want to bring this down to a person listening to this thinking, gee, I wonder if my chiropractor or my other medical doctor has this device, A. B, should I get one myself? And maybe more important than either question is what does it do for me? And I see in one of the surveys that – a large percentage of people use it for chronic pain relief. So that seems like that could apply to a lot of people with a lot of different conditions. We also have decent numbers when it comes to just fatigue, general fatigue. And I think, you know, that comes to a lot of people, but also uh, injury recovery and sports injury. And that's really coming into the sweet spot of our audience here on the Bees Knees podcast, because these are people that have had a, an ACL issue and MCL in the past. Maybe their patella broke in some fashion with a fall. And then, of course, a lot of people here are having been through a lot of those events, a lot of degeneration of their cartilage, osteoarthritis, and now they're facing a total knee replacement. And so some of the folks, Jack, we're going to get uh, that listen to this show are actually trying to avoid knee replacements. And it seems to me that this might be an alternative to some of the other treatments like uh, platelet-rich plasma or the coxcomb injections, the synvisks, the steroid injections. I mean, there are a lot of treatments to help people deal with knee pain. It seems to me that this would be on the list of treatments that you could consider to avoid a knee replacement event surgery. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, my first thought, PJ, is uh, you're a health hero. <laughs> Here you are offering uh the main service of reconstructing or cleaning up an exercise to produce a better result for those who have to go into a surgical solution. Um, and this um, has demonstrated this type of technology that NASA was correct. It does speed up the basic building blocks of the body and its capability to heal itself and it does so dramatically. It's difficult to explain it in ordinary non-scientific terms, but everybody knows about stem cells these days and if their activity can be stimulated and uh, the only way it can be done in a natural way is through electromagnetic uh, influences. In fact, the Veterans Administration did a study in 2017, and they discovered that the ancient Chinese (laughs) um, application of needles to the structure of the body's communications system is a very, very good delivery system and that electromagnetism does speed up to the acupuncture points a very strong uh, uh, energy to increase the stem cell delivery and the actual production of stem cells. It's a groundbreaking study. People can look it up, but this is the so-called method of operation or delivery and you can't produce that kind of energy any other way than through electricity and uh, magnetic pulsing into the body. That's the uh, breakthrough that recently became knowledge among the scientific community. How could it possibly deliver such a huge impact. We do have a lot of testimonials, some of which we can publish, but we do not 
want to get in trouble with FDA. They don't want us to publish anything of that sort unless we go through clinical trials. But the problem is there, <clears throat> there's no way that people will invest the tens of millions of dollars to go through a clinical trial to prove something uh, that is natural energy because you can't patent it. Now, it's one of the reasons it's sort of held back. The government agencies won't uh, cooperate with that kind of development because they aren't funded for that purpose. It's interesting because there are barriers that have fallen in terms of introducing new technology like this or medical solutions, medical equipment, a little bit like the X10 machine. So I see a parallel here. But the true gold standard study, the, the double blind clinical trial, you're right. It's it's a million dollars or more for a small company or a new technology. There's a big number and a lot of time, of course, that is uh, is required to get a technology like this through those hurdles. So many of the barriers have come down. We can learn about technologies. The cost has gone down. I know your product, the, the price is a reasonable price for many, for certainly for a clinician and for, for home. But still, the ultimate proof comes after time, over time, because it, it's um, a lot for a, a new organization to, to get in there and fund. And you're right. If it's not patentable, you're proving something that, great, thanks a lot, Jack. We're all any other competitor can benefit from that mm-hmm. trial because we all have some version of the harmonic technology, the magnetic uh, pulsing that you guys offer. Can we talk a little bit about the product itself, meaning how does one use it? What In what form does it come? I watched some of the video content that you have. I saw that there's a, a mat that people can lay on. Describe the, the, the functional use of it and how, how it kind of works, if you could. The mat covers the entire center of your body, the core body. So all of your vital systems are affected with that. It spreads the magnetic field out over the area from, say, your chin to your navel or beyond. And it is um, capable of, within minutes, beginning a detox process and separating blood cells from their new normal, unfortunately, their new normal condition of depletion and they are all stuck together. The medical term is it's the rouleau effect. They cannot function very efficiently uh, when they're undercharged. Within about 15 to 30 minutes, there are pictures on our website taken with advanced microscopy that show before and after treatment that the blood cells are, as some people say, having a dance party once they have absorbed enough of the magnetic electrical energy in the pulse. Now, certain things about our pulse, the way we've engineered it, that make it work more efficiently and much faster than the Earth's own pulse because it's so weak, for one thing. We're facing a a point in history where we're losing most of the Earth's natural energy. And this is going to be a very, very important defensive tool. The other thing is that you have to have coils and copper wiring of a geometry that will maximize the effects. And our coils are 100% copper wire, 630 fine copper wires twisted and turned together inside a double insulated coil covering. And that is very safe and will carry the unnecessary pulse and frequency waveform to the areas of the body that you direct the coil. So there's a mitt with a coil that's about six inches in diameter and fits beautifully over the knee, by the way, and also other areas of the body which can be used in conjunction with the mat 
And uh, that gives you two opportunities to improve the functions of the body in one sitting. Many of the doctors of over 120 now that utilize our technology, including former director of medicine of NASA, and their testimonial experience is available. They would be happy to take calls. And I think you will be, too. <laughs> See how it works with your patients. It's going to speed up recovery dramatically. It strikes me, as we sort of touched upon earlier, that the, and there are two versions of the True Pulse A2000 Pro and the A2000 Home. So you've got one for a consumer, one for a clinical setting. But it does seem to me that this would be something on the list as you're trying to avoid, you know, again, avoid a total knee replacement. Or when you are four, six, eight weeks post-surgery and you've achieved your your initial goals, your beginning goals of range of motion, and you're working on strength and you're looking for a follow-up to the uh, more acute phase of recovery, there could be real instances. Uh, here's a question for you. You've got 120 in clinical settings. The rest are in homes. Is it is it we just call our chiropractor or ask for the True Pulse A2000 Pro or the difficulty for me is I'm not able to muster that kind of marketing muscle. It takes so much money to cover an entire industry. We've only scratched the surface, and you can go around even in uh, the osteopathic uh, circles, and most osteopaths never even heard of PEMF, yet it's cleared by FDA for bone healing, bones and tissue and many other injuries or diseases, but it's not taught in medical school. Well, Jack, I, this sounds really familiar. <laughs> I have to be honest, it really does, because we are in that same situation where we have some insurance coverage, we've got research studies, we've got much more coming for this device that we have, our X10 therapy machine, right? But we don't have Medicare yet, and we're still working on some of the big, the big things. And a lot of surgeons just say, boy, it looks amazing. Wow, this is great. Never heard of it before. So it's an uphill battle for companies like ours, both of our companies. In horse racing, uh, PEMF is very well known. <laughs> the injuries that horses uh, sustain in racing and the stress on the body of the horse is amazing, of course. So it's become a very, very popular tool to maintain the horse's health and improve its performance. Why can't we two-legged animals have more of that? Yeah, I, I am aware of that too. The animal pet and of course the equine uh, use of it in it. It's frustrating, but it's also exciting, isn't it? Because you're on the early stage of this, even though it's been around since the, the concepts have been around since the 1960s. It takes time. Sometimes we, we can push it ahead as fast as we want or as fast as we, we can try but it doesn't mean that it's going to be adopted as fast as we'd like, I guess. What's um, very convincing to most people is the speed at which their pains and their mobility are improved. The pain goes away very quickly in most cases because it's removing the inflammation from the uh, injury site or the disease site, and it is reported that about... 80% of people that present with pain or significant mobility issues are able to Im improve in one or two sessions, 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I've had many people get up from their wheelchair and say, now I can go shopping, I can resume my life. It doesn't mean that it's cured something. It's gone to the source of the pain, the inflammation, and begun the process of removing and repairing. That's why it's considered by many scientists early on, Dr. Linus Pauling, 
said it would be the future of medicine be the first thing to use to and it is in many different countries the first thing to use in severe injury cases my world is all about knees <laughs> i found myself here jack that's my life knees and i hear the prp was great the prp didn't work stem cells what a godsend I spent $6,000 and got nothing out of it. And you hear from everybody, well, I took injections, the synvis didn't work, the steroids were good, but they started having less and less effect. So you'll hear all sides of conventional treatments to eliminate, alleviate, deal with pain in the knee. And you'll hear both sides of it. And in this case, you've got another entrant into the mix where there's a reasonable chance that it could be successful, it could help with pain, it's uh, not prohibitively expensive for many, or for if it is too expensive, there may be a clinician nearby that has the TruePulse A2000 Pro, and suddenly there's, a, there's something that I would suggest should be looked at in the, the sort of the pantheon of solutions that people are looking to, to avoid. Because you get a lot of people that are very demanding on their bodies at very young ages. And they end up at 45, 48, 50 years old with no meniscus. They've worn through, they've mm -hmm. burned through the cartilage, and there they are. Mm -hmm. And I'm, Jack and I, we are not saying, oh, solved, figured it out, all good. But we are, I think you are saying, and I'm, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, let me tell you, that this is something that you should take a look at and consider. And I, I really sound like I'm pitching this thing, and I, I certainly don't want to sound like that. But it, again, it's got an, a, a, enough behind it that a visit to the website and a look at the technology and a discussion with a clinician doing your own reading, it makes a lot of sense to me, tr truthfully. And I would, by the way, Jack, even with you on the phone, I would say you're full of it. No way. <laughs> Stay away. I, I really would. I, I, but it, I, from reading what I'm reading and understanding how it's evolved and some of the support behind it, acknowledging that it's not clinically tested at the highest level yet. Okay, got it. There are surgeons that have stopped doing surgery. They just do stem cells. And yet I know, Jack, I'm on the phone with 15 knee people a day. I hear it from real people who will tell me, in all honesty, if it helped them or if it didn't. I don't care what the studies are. I know that these well-lauded technologies that people are saying are going to solve problems, you know, oh, I it, can't it's wait. not a sure thing. <laughs> I can't wait until you hear the feedback you'll get from this. And by the way, the proof is always in the results. We're not making a lot of claims on our website, as you can see. We do believe that we just provide the body's own capabilities, of what's missing from nature. To back it up even further, we offer to uh, let people return the device within 30 days, if not satisfied for any reason, and we'll refund all of their money at less $200. And we're losing out on that <laughs> a device that costs around $4,000, use it for 30 days, and return it for $200. Uh, <clears throat> that is an unbeatable offer, and we get very few back. So it's instructive. Yes, it's the result that counts, and we're very proud that we have a very few returns for any reason, and Long-term, people report fabulous results. We can show that with a monkey survey. Right. Your favorite monkey, survey monkey. I am going to hold myself back from my uh, tremendous effusion of enthusiasm because that sounds like a very reasonable offer. So uh, it's a visit to the Pulse Harmonics website, a look around, do your own homework, uh, obviously, you've got a call line, and you'll answer questions and satisfy people's inquiries, and they'll make a decision for themselves. So I'm I'm really glad that we are able to do this on this show, though, because you know over the last six months, Jack, we've had a lot of people that have 
been on the the line here and have done interviews. And the whole point has been to avoid and deal with knee pain, uh, which so many people experience, uh, in some non-surgical way. And, and I, I'm excited, really excited, that we've been able to do this and share this specific but, brand, yeah, of course, by but, the way, but the technology I mean, overall. Regarding stem cells, I agree. I've heard not very many good comments about people that have done a lot of stem cell therapy. The difference is that with our device, it's pro- your body is producing its own stem cells at an accelerated rate and it's being delivered through the meridians and the Veterans Administration has shown very strong proof of the mechanism of action and so it's not introducing stem cells to your body it's allowing the body to produce its own and deliver them to the sites that are needed. For those who are with us right now, there's a, a, a website, the pulseharmonics.com. There are show notes. There's a beautiful blog that you will be able to read about this topic if you go to the episode web page. So that's always available to you, whether you're on Apple Podcasts or any other service. You can sort of view the, the page where this lives, this podcast, and read up uh, up there uh, or you can call the, these folks and learn about their technologies. I'm excited that it's here. I, I guess, you know, I think long term for a long time, Jack, our words are going to be available to a lot of people who are going through future people who are going through knee pain, chronic pain, energy you know, issues, blood flow questions. And they're going to happen upon our work today and they'll be able to, you know, learn for themselves. It's It's pretty exciting to me to know that that we've uh, we've shared the word a little bit today. Yes, or your money back. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. What, what the, what's wrong with that? Uh, well, thanks, Jack. This is great. I, I really appreciate the time, and uh, I'm excited about what we've learned. As you said earlier, we just scratched the surface, but that's fine. This is a little introductory message about a technology that's out there. It seems to be based on sound research and information, and everyone can explore right. it. Uh, again, pulseharmonics.com or visit the episode webpage. Thanks for sharing all this great information, Jack. Well, and thank you for what you're doing for all of us. You're one of the few that takes such a broad-based view of what therapy is all about, and I I am uh, very, very impressed. Well, I hope you found that interesting. After doing that interview, I actually started poking around on the Internet And I found an article that I'm going to share in the show notes that I think might be really useful as we're all sitting here wondering, gee, is this useful? Can it benefit me? But but also, Jack was saying that the Earth's magnetic shield is eroding. And wow, if I didn't find an article uh, written a couple years ago that does support that in Forbes magazine, and I'll include that link, but I'll, I'll do one quick quote from that, and that is, The strength of the Earth's magnetic field is currently about 29.5 microteslas, down 5 microteslas, or 14%, from its strength three centuries ago. It's well established that in modern times, the axial dipole component of the Earth's main magnetic field is decreasing by approximately 5% per century. Recently, scientists using uh, Swarm Satellite announced that their data indicated decay rate 10 times faster, or 5% per decade. So I think Jack is getting his information from this study that was done. This is published in 2018, but it does indeed support his point that while we thought it was 5% per century, recent data suggests that it may be uh, at 10 times that rate or decreasing 5% per decade. It's a fascinating subject, the magnetic field that is protecting our planet from all kinds of stuff. Uh, And if it does switch, which it does over periods of time, or decrease, which it seems to be doing, uh, that's a bit of a problem for (laughs) for us in lots of ways. And it may indeed uh, be uh, counteracted by Jack's technology. So um, go out there, take a look at at articles about the magnetic field. uh, And also, uh, I'll include that article for you to take a look at. Thanks again for listening. It's been fun. And look for some more great stuff from us next week. Sometimes a knee surgery recovery requires more than the conventional. 
It calls upon the heroic. I walk until my, my thighs turn numb. You know what I mean? Until my hamstrings start to cramp up. And knowing that he had been so depressed to see the joy on his face and belief that he could go on with life, that just got me. I mean, there's not a lot of things that'll do that. What do you believe are obstacles for you? I can just accelerate and I'm, and I'm running now like, like I feel like I'm running as good as I've ever run. It's an amazing feeling to me. It's been, um, it has been quite a journey so far. We did a lot of cranking on the knee and they were trying to have my me Ben to ride a bike and at the very last minute decided to do both at the same time and get it over with and I was forewarned that there are things that can happen under that procedure it is a uh, kind of a violent thing I'm not a wimp I would leave physical therapy literally in tears and they were pretty frustrated loud enough for me to hear it and popped hard enough for me to feel it my patella tendon just about ruptured. It was hanging on by a thread. And in 10 years time, I was going from walking everywhere to realizing I was really struggling. I've had surgeries in the past and I've always been able to just bounce right back. This was a very, very, very different experience. To be honest, I was extremely skeptical. I felt like a, uh, a mad beaver was constantly gnawing at the bones in my knee. That's why I work so hard on this machine. I got to be able to get down those stairs and up those stairs to do my job. So the more peace and love you have inside of you, the more peace and love you share with others because you have it to share. And I would go into rehab feeling like a million bucks and people would stop me and go, what knee did you have done? And I said, I had both done. Getting there. Epic tales of knee surgery, recovery, and courage. A new book by PJ Ewing. We'd like to thank a few friends of the Bees Knees podcast, including the Knee Pain Guru, natural solutions for chronic knee pain without drugs, shots, surgery, or painful physical therapy. For more info, visit thekneepainguru.com. We're also brought to you by X10 Therapy. And special thanks to Dr. Justin Trosclair at the podcast, A Doctor's Perspective Podcast. If you plan to go to China for business or pleasure, the main thing that you have to master is the dinner culture. Things like the lazy Susan, should you drink, how to use chopsticks, where am I supposed to sit, gaining and losing face. I'm Dr. Justin Trosclair, and after five years of working in China, I took all my knowledge and wrote a book about it. You can find it at a doctorsperspective.net slash China book and on Amazon. And while you're at it, Take a listen to the podcast, a doctorsperspective.net, where I interview doctors of all specialties, talk about successes, marketing, struggles, and all those types of topics you don't normally hear. The Knee Store. If you're having a knee done, you just may want to share that news with the world. If so, we've got a mug, t-shirt, or awesome tote for that. Visit the knee store on cafepress.com. Shop for the perfect item that reflects your feelings about getting back to a full life after a successful knee replacement surgery. Visit cafepress.com forward slash the knee store. Great prices, fun and unique stuff. The Bees Knees Podcast comes to you from our studio in Lower Manhattan, New York City. We're here week in and week out shedding light on all aspects of knee surgery and recovery. To reach us, send an email to thebeesneespodcast at gmail.com.